Hey YouTube, just wanted to share an update on the Terra Cafe TK01. I know they have a uh, second generation that's out and where the uh, milk carafe looks like it's integrated, so uh, it does look interesting and I might get around to it if ever I have to move this into uh, the office, then I'll go ahead and move this one out to the office and possibly try out the, uh, the second generation at home. So, and that's kind of depending on a couple things. I was actually just going to do a simple update and some cleaning tips of what they shared with me as well about leaks and some other tips that I've shared about people who have had leaks on theirs as well about certain O-rings and I'll get into that. But as I was kind of cleaning up the unit just to make it look nicer for the video, I, I turned it around, which I normally don't do, on the back side uh, just to get it out the way and I was wiping the counter. And from shipping last time, either it looks like, I don't think it was a shipping process, but when they were working on it, so there's a nick in the corner right here, another one almost seemed like they dropped it on the side and it chipped here. I don't know if you can see that. And also, whoever was tightening these screws, there's one, two, and a third one over there that is actually been cracked. They, well, they they over torqued it and cracked the case. And you can see here, looks like some scuff marks here, here, here. And you just don't really get the sense that somebody took care of your espresso machine when they had it. And I will say it came back clean though. This inside, they asked that you empty it out. The water was emptied out, of course, and everything else seemed pretty immaculate. Uh, but when it came, this was on the back, so I just lifted it out and put it on the counter. Didn't really pay attention to this back portion. But inside, they had disassembled it. The brewer head as well looked... Uh, everything looked great, as in terms of clean. So that's really what I was using for because obviously you're putting filtered water through here and drinking it. So you expect that... Uh, you, you'd want it to be clean after it came back from shipping and from their repair center or their headquarters I don't know if it's two in the same but I think it was somewhere in New Jersey so that process was pretty easy I had a couple contacts with them uh, through email correspondence and they talked about oh checking this drip tray making sure these tabs in the back are clean so it doesn't give water or coffee a passageway same thing in the the brewer head unit over here Oops. Yeah, I usually take the tray out first. Down, and there's two passages, one in the rear, one in the front. And so in the rear, make sure that it's clean and so in the channel underneath so that water has the proper passageway to, to come down into the drip tray. So, because what sometimes what can happen if it's dirty it'll give water a channel I can't lift the the unit up on the side but there are plastic channels that run down into this into this tray right about here and rather than actually coming down into the tray it, it will carry on a little bit further down and not come into the tray so they, they sent me a new box, I got it, and they asked you to empty it out. They, the shipping, you know, I got the warranty for it. And so, even after the correspondence, they said check here and there, I did all that. There was still just a leak, and it seems about right in this spot right here where the water comes into the drip pan was where the issue seemed to be. And it's only a little bit, it never dripped down all the way to the counter and went overflowed into the, the the drawers or anything. But it was always just one little spot. And it was it was consistent. So I asked them to look into that and they did. No charge, just warranty. Uh warranty is a good idea for this was a new company for me and even though look it's seems like a quality built uh, espresso machine and you know being close to a thousand dollars you'd expect uh, to work flawlessly so and thus far it really does uh, when it was gone we we actually really 
uh, were missing it and we just wanted it back as soon as possible. Came back clean now, minus these issues here. So I'm going to uh, send these pictures off to them. I got some close ups and let them know and see what they can do. Hopefully, they'll replace the casing and whatnot. But once again, I really don't want to be without it. Uh, but yeah, uh, daily cleaning. So even just using it, try to bring this down as far as possible, close to the cup. And then for that session when you're done, I typically lift it up and so you'll get you'll get typically splatter up here, but if you keep this down, it'll only splatter down here. So after you're done, move it up, wipe this area up top here, and these nozzles. So and this piece does come off as well. But that's that's more of the daily runs. Uh, daily checks are here is pull it out. Pull it out, empty the water, give it a rinse. Only once a week at the weekend will we actually take it out and actually scrub uh, the uh, grime and the, the grinds. And same thing for right here. It has a counter system, so occasionally you'll get some grinds that build up in there because you're doing let's say two americanos or two shots and it's not going to stop in the middle of the counter to make you dump out one of these coffee discs and then continue on to your second shot it's going to dump both of them out but on the weekly check same thing pull the brewer head out give it give it a rinse and wipe out the grinds from the inside and that's where you're getting a lot of the buildup is when you're doing multiple i usually do americanos i hit that for the 2x and if it's already full like right now it'll run and if you just do one it'll probably have you stop and empty out the coffee bin but if you just go through the two once again it's not going to make you stop in mid cycle and then you're going to have two coffee discs that are going to be kind of hanging out and that's where some of the grinds come out loose and you get some issues so oh uh, somebody asked me about the o-ring so sorry about the beeping but this, somebody had a leak on this portion where coffee's coming out. And so I said, they supply you with some O-rings. I said, check this one and where it mates up uh, right in there. So that's where the, that's where you want to check as well. And then you also have another O-ring right here. And they supply you with the O-rings. So if you're actually getting just just liquids dumping straight into this compartment, uh, you might want to check those or it's not completely seated. And I like this where it's very audible. So it unclicks and it makes sure it stays clicked and then where it clicks back this way as well. So you know that it's secure. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, I, I don't regret the purchase. Uh, the correspondence have been fairly quick. The warranty process, uh, it took about man, two and a half weeks to get it back. It was a little long to be without our espresso machine. So that, uh, I wish they could have shortened it up, especially if they didn't really find anything wrong with it. They did a good cleaning and we still get that water dripping down there. Uh, like I said, but it's, it's like, this this amount of water and it might just be sometimes when you have a lot of water here and you're going in and out it might be sloshing back and forth or some of the water may be uh, actually riding down in these channels with condensation and coming down you can see right here so it's riding down this channel you see this tab that's the clean water side this is the coffee side you can already see where it's riding the channel uh, and, I, and I informed them of that. They said, well, you have to keep it clean. So I was like, well, we do keep it clean, but uh, yeah. Uh, and since I'm going to be corresponding with them again over these chips, I'll go ahead and let them know that. But yeah, and I'll post another video and uh, we'll go from there and see. And then, like I said, based on their interaction, we'll see if we uh, go for the second generation as well and see how that works out. But 
Sorry it's a little long, but hope you guys got out of it, uh, something out of it. And like I said, just check those O-rings if you have the, if you have actually just water just dripping into the tray uh, through that channel. Then yeah, they supply you with the O-rings, so go ahead and uh, check that out. And even just now, actually, I pulled this portion down, this right here. Uh, I was getting a lot of. You can see it's still kind of dirty. Go through with the bristle, clean that out, and actually clean these nozzles out too. Just get a paper towel. I usually use a little bit of vinegar. Get a paper towel and just wipe the ends off real quickly, and you should be good to go. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.